Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for and the Normand one for October, uh, for October 8th to October 14th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards again I want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and this is not your personal reading therefore I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread however it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please uh, check out my website <clears throat> which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, one more thing the monthly videos are already out so if you want to check them out you can do that on my youtube channel and if you find them helpful and you want to know even more about them how the month is going to go for your star sign uh, there is an extensive monthly tower reading for just $1.49 in which we are focusing specifically upon the career and relationship field for the representative star sign. So that set aside, um, <clears throat> going to the spread which is going to be a four card tarot spread first before the Lenormand one. Uh, the first position here is about the topic of the week, the second position is about the core of the situation, the third position challenges which are going to cause predicaments and the last position that will be the guidance that Taro offers to us Scorpios. So let's see what we got here as I am Scorpio. Now the first card this is going to be the Nine of Swords. So that will be a, a very hectic week. Uh, a week dappled with hectic wavering there will be some sort of an anxiety there and that anxiety should not be literally accepted as something negative necessary all right all right that could be one being anxious to uh, execute a certain um, a certain idea of theirs or some anxious to you know to obtain resources etc etc but the nine of swords as an anxiety it does speaks for a, a huge amount of responsibilities where everybody needs to attend to their duties as Scorpio and with that specific sense uh, we have to be very we Scorpios have to be very strong in our standpoints and also we need to stand behind our words as well the nine of swords asks us to uh, face our fears and what person do when they are afraid of a certain consequences or of a certain you know responsibilities as well they are to run from their standpoint that's why we have to be very strong when it comes to standpoints now on a more practical level the nine of swords could um, display a, a a big amount of pressure into our uh, into our career path it is because we do have a lot of responsibility and they are very respons very um, uh, they are kind of like a you know very important was the word I was searching for responsibilities that has to be uh, attended flawlessly and when it comes to relationship this card could uh, relate to the fear of that someday that relationship could end all right or the fear that you may not be able to um, establish a relationship with a person of interest and this is not something material again I'm talking about the fear but the fear resides within the, the situation itself may not be as such and that's why and most likely won't be as such that's why it's important to face our fears and just to give you an example how uh, if you are afraid that uh, the person that you have as an interest does not have interest in you well ask them that is the the easiest and the more and the fastest way to know how uh, you know to know if the things are going to work out or they're not going to work out and at the end at least whatever the answer is you're going to sleep well because you will know your answer but the point with this card Scorpios is that this week is going to be an important week where we have to kind of uh, settle unusual undertakings for us just because they may make us a little bit more uncomfortable or they may put us under a little bit of a, 
over pressure it's definitely something that we need to we need to face in the next card we will display why this is happening or what is the prerequisite and we do have the wheel of fortune so we are seeing this anxiety on the most on the more positive ends so how this could manifest is that that could be a sudden opportunity for you to um to shine bright you know and to step um, up with one uh, with one straight ahead uh, ahead others and that will require from you to you know to be a little bit more um monitorized than before which could create a little bit more pressure in you uh, which may kind of start kind of planting the impression self-impression what i mean is that you may not be able to pull it through and that could create the prerequisite from being afraid of the consequences maybe of a failure you know or maybe just to be left alone as well into one relationship but remember the wheel of fortune it does point to uh, a very positive opportunities and openings here so in reality i don't think that there is much for you to be afraid of it is just that this week you need to be more clamorous about your uh, about your capabilities and also be a little bit more brave when you set a certain goal in goals in front of yourself and a certain aims to be accomplished now <clears throat> when we when we talk about undertakings with these uh, two cards uh, the undertakings will be a little bit more than you can handle as a quantity all right so you will kind of like uh, overburden yourself with activities in some way and because you don't want to look like a, a loser here you will tend to kind of complete all of those activities and you will be able to all right but it just will come to you a little bit more than you um than you would like to so this is where the pressure is going to start coming from. The next card is, is going to display the challenges that um, are causing predicaments. And as we said, I, a clamorous beliefs in ourselves. This is what we're talking about here, the king of wands. This is the card pointing to um, <clears throat> self-belief, self-confidence, to know how to um, how to advance forward with a certain undertakings with a certain activities so you may kind of think the less of yourself this is what I'm getting from that uh, from that reading here I mean you do have the opportunity but just because your heart could be a heart of a rabbit that is a, a thing um, that is a, a sentence in my country in other words you are coward you may not take advantage of that opportunity and I'm not saying that you are but uh, you may think that what is in front of you it is a, a big deal and just think about it alright uh, let's say that uh, you have certain criteria of a person that to be with you in a relationship and that week finally you know you meet such a person that it is everything you have ever wanted alright and you may be afraid to make the wrong approach, approach there and to lose the chance of being with that person like ever uh, because the stakes will be high you know you either make it or break it but if you are passive about it this is not gonna get you any further and there could be someone else there who will do the step before you and they will have the price for it so it's important here to overcome your fears when it comes to that week and when you and when there is something there you want you basically have to take it it is just how the world the the, uh, the world works these days you know things does not belong to someone because he has the rights over them it belongs to them because they takes it so literally this is what uh, so far the reading said that you know you have to overcome the anxiety the the, the self-doubt that you may have in your capabilities and to try to boost a little bit more uh, your beliefs and uh, your expectations to a point where they become clamorous and you know just start working forward for it and it's gonna work out you know the only thing here seeing you stopping is as I said 
the self-confidence, the lack of self-confidence, and as well the fear that things may go wrong. Everything goes wrong. As a matter of fact, this is the Murphy's Law. If something goes right from the very first try, then obviously you have done a, a terrible mistake along the road. All right? So you did something that was not supposed to be done. And the last card, uh, it's... Uh, the guidance that we do have that is the four of pentacles and this card is a little bit awkward because it advises you to be more careful but that doesn't mean that you should be passive all right first uh, uh, this card advises you to do things which oh, which only makes you feel comfortable doing them and that's why it is it will be much more easier for you to overcome your uh, your fear and if we go with the sweater here with the um, example of the sweater then uh, let's say that they are kind of weird in a certain way for you I mean they have certain interests that you don't share well that doesn't mean that you have to contribute in them or right? I mean this card is a sign that you can find a, a common interest that you both are enthralled by and you can go by with um, <clears throat> with this kind of approach toward making a an empathizement with this person the Four of Pentacles here also uh, advises you to capitalize on the current positions that you do have, which is a little bit unrelated with the previous cards, but probably you will do have time here to uh, Scorpios to really think about uh, what more you can extract from the uh, recently finalized and completed uh, tasks and um, aims, goals of yours. So that was the tarot reading for October 8th to October 14, 2018. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you. They will show a event that you should either look forward to Scorpio or try to avoid. And so let me cut the cards. Now the first one that we do have, that will be the fish we are, the fish we are, spe we are speaking about. Potential here, we are speaking about business, we are speaking about money we are speaking about resources when it comes to that card the next one is going to be the book that is about secret it is about knowledge and it is a about learning and then the next one that is going to be the bear and the bear is about potential the bear is about motherhood the bear is about headstrong and it is about power so how i could interpret these cards it does depend on a certain situation if that was a personal reading i would have uh, kind of interrogate a little bit the the customer about their personal situation right now so i have a little bit more to work with when it comes to these cards but that could be interpreted in a very general way of a a, a money-making machine cashing out on a, a powerful knowledge here, on a powerful learning that you have done, all right? So cashing out with it, like selling information. Um, this is a, a very potent in, a reading for lawyers, for example, because they kind of work with information or selling up a secret as well. That is also, also a very potent thing for me because I am working with information as well. Or it could be also pointing that a, a very powerful learning you can do which is gonna cost money but is gonna bring you money as well. So uh, you need to use that week as well, the very free time. That is a little bit detached from the tarot reading here and only thing that I can get from these two readings is that you, you will do have a, a lot of uh, how can I place it a lot of free time you know to deliberate upon things apart from that you will have to because the this here having a lot of responsibilities as well they will not consume much of your time it's just the quantity of them is going to be big and big quantity of responsibilities doesn't mean that they are going to consume a lot of time all right because one res responsibility could be undertaken by at 10 seconds for example let's say phone calls having a signature scribed etc etc but yet they may have a certain contradictory here which is going to create the anxiety anyway whenever you can learn throughout the week whenever uh, qualification you can sign in for throughout the week is going to uh, create for you a, a powerful way of earning money so that being said, Scorpios, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 8th to October 14th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, 
Again, this was just a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it was not your personal reading, guys. And uh, therefore, I tried and I hope I was succeeded in... Uh, I succeeded, excuse me, in um, explaining you the cards and their synergy in the spread. But it forced you to make sense of them again and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, uh, then that is a subject of personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.